Jumping up to greet is a behavior many dogs exhibit, often out of sheer excitement and eagerness to connect with their humans. While it might seem harmless or even endearing at first glance, it can quickly become problematic. Imagine the scenario, you walk through the door after a long day, and your furry friend leaps up, their paws landing squarely on your chest or shoulders. For smaller dogs, it might be less dramatic, but they can still leave a trail of muddy paw prints or inadvertently scratch your legs in their enthusiasm. However, for larger breeds, the consequences can be more serious. A joyous jump from a sizable dog can easily knock over a child or an elderly family member. Posing a real risk of injury, but here's the thing, your dog isn't trying to cause chaos or harm. In their world, jumping up is their way of saying, hello, I've missed you, pay attention to me. It's a natural behavior rooted in their social instincts. Plus, let's admit it, jumping is an effective attention grabber. After all, who can ignore a fluffy friend bounding up to them? The challenge then becomes how to channel this exuberance into a more appropriate form of greeting. Enter the greeting rule. Keep your front paws on the floor. This simple yet powerful guideline sets the groundwork for a safer, more respectful interaction between you and your pup. Not only does it prevent accidental collisions and dirty clothes, but it also fosters better manners in your furry companion. Now, teaching your dog this greeting rule requires patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement. But fear not, with the following 10 tips, you'll be well equipped to transform your dog's over-enthusiastic greetings into polished displays of canine etiquette. From basic training exercises to creative redirection techniques, these strategies will empower you to shape your dog's behavior in a positive way. In no time, your dog will master the art of the polite greeting, keeping all four paws firmly planted on the ground while still expressing their boundless joy at your return. And as a bonus, you'll enjoy a more harmonious relationship with your furry friend. Built on mutual respect and understanding. So, let's embark on this journey together and pave the way for a happier, more well-mannered canine companion, one. Only greet your dog when they have four paws on the floor, encouraging desirable behavior in your dog requires clarity and consistency. Rather than simply discouraging jumping, it's more effective to teach your furry friend an alternative behavior that is incompatible with jumping. By focusing on what you want them to do, rather than what you don't, you can expedite the learning process. For instance, if you want to curb jumping behavior, instruct your dog to keep all four paws on the ground, sit, or lie down when greeting them. This redirection of focus not only addresses the issue of jumping but also instills a positive behavior pattern. Remember, dogs cannot simultaneously jump and maintain a grounded stance, so by reinforcing the latter, you naturally deter the former. Consistency is key in reinforcing these desired behaviors. Ensure that every interaction with your dog follows the same set of rules. Whether you're wearing jeans or a suit, maintain the expectation that your dog must adhere to the designated behavior, be it keeping their paws on the floor or assuming a sitting position, before receiving attention or affection. By adhering to this consistent approach, you not only communicate clear expectations to your dog but also establish a harmonious routine that promotes positive behavior. With patience and dedication, you'll soon find your dog eagerly complying with your guidelines, leading to a happier and more manageable relationship between you and your furry companion, too. Give attention as soon as your dog's front feet hit the floor, dogs are creatures of habit. They quickly learn which behaviors lead to rewards. So, when your furry friend adheres to your greeting protocol, keeping their front paws on the ground, it's crucial to acknowledge their good behavior promptly. This immediate reinforcement reinforces the desired action and encourages them to repeat it. Your dog craves your attention, and they've learned that certain behaviors, like keeping all paws on the floor, earn them just that. Therefore, it's essential to provide praise and affection as soon as they demonstrate the desired behavior, particularly during the learning phase. By doing so, you reinforce the notion that keeping all four paws grounded is the key to receiving your attention and affection, avoid delaying your acknowledgement while you attend to other tasks, such as removing your coat and shoes. Your dog's patience may wear thin, leading them to seek alternative ways to capture your attention. By prioritizing immediate recognition, you reinforce the connection between their actions and the rewards they seek, fostering a positive and responsive relationship built on clear communication and mutual understanding. 3. Remove attention when your dog jumps. Addressing jumping behavior in dogs requires a strategic approach that involves both timing and consistency. One effective method is to withhold attention when your dog jumps. Essentially, you're removing the reward that encourages the behavior. Remember, dogs thrive on attention and interaction, so denying them this when they jump can be a powerful tool in reshaping their behavior. When your dog jumps on you, it's essential to act promptly but calmly. 
Instead of reacting with excitement or frustration, employ a neutral response. One approach is to turn away from your dog, denying them the attention they seek. By turning your back or calmly walking away, you communicate to your dog that jumping does not yield the desired outcome. This action teaches your dog that jumping leads to the opposite effect of what they intended, rather than receiving attention, they're left without it. It's important to remain consistent in this approach, as sporadic responses can confuse your dog and prolong the training process. Once your dog has all four paws back on the ground, it's crucial to reinforce this desirable behavior. Turn back to face your dog and offer quiet praise and gentle petting. This positive reinforcement helps your dog understand the connection between keeping all four paws down and receiving attention. Over time, your dog will learn to associate grounded behavior with positive interactions. Making jumping less appealing, by employing this method consistently and patiently, you're effectively teaching your dog that their behavior acts as a switch for receiving or losing your attention. This clear communication empowers both you and your dog in establishing boundaries and fostering desirable conduct. 4. Set up your dog for success. Setting your dog up for success is crucial in training them to greet people appropriately. While ignoring jumping and rewarding proper greetings can be effective, it may also pose challenges as it requires your dog to engage in trial and error learning, which can be frustrating for them. Therefore, it's essential to create an environment that makes it easier for your dog to understand and adhere to your greeting rules. For instance, if your preferred greeting rule is for your dog to sit when meeting someone, you can facilitate this by prompting them to sit as soon as you enter the door. Conversely, if you expect your dog to keep all four paws on the floor, you can encourage them to remain standing during greetings. An ingenious technique to discourage jumping is to scatter treats on the floor before your dog has the chance to jump. Since most dogs find treats irresistible, they'll likely be drawn to the goodies on the ground. This tactic not only distracts your dog from jumping but also encourages them to keep their attention focused downward, making it difficult for them to jump simultaneously. By swiftly providing the treats before your dog has the opportunity to jump, you can reinforce the desired behavior of keeping all four paws on the floor. Eventually, as your dog becomes accustomed to your greeting rule, you can gradually reduce the reliance on treats and transition to rewarding them with attention alone. By implementing these strategies and setting up your dog for success, you can effectively teach them proper greeting etiquette while minimizing frustration for both you and your furry friend. Remember, consistency and patience are key components of successful training. 5. Always reward your dog for proper greeting behavior. Training your dog to greet people politely is a crucial aspect of their socialization and obedience. Like any training, consistency and positive reinforcement are key. When your dog exhibits proper greeting behavior, such as keeping their front feet on the floor instead of jumping up, it's important to immediately acknowledge and reward that behavior. Think of attention as currency in your dog's world. When they learn that keeping all four paws on the ground results in your attention and affection, they'll be more motivated to repeat that behavior. Conversely, if jumping up results in your attention being withdrawn, such as you turning away or gently pushing them down, they'll learn that jumping doesn't get them what they want, Consistency is paramount in this training. It can be tempting to withhold attention when your dog finally complies after a bout of jumping, especially if you've just endured a few minutes of it. However, it's crucial to resist this urge. Withholding attention inconsistently can confuse your dog and undermine the training progress you've made. So, even if you're feeling frustrated or exasperated, it's essential to stick to the rule and reward your dog when they greet people calmly. Remember, every interaction is an opportunity for reinforcement, and over time, your dog will learn that polite greetings are the best way to get your attention and affection. 6. Don't grab or push your dog away. It's crucial to understand that when your dog jumps on you, they're seeking attention, whether positive or negative. Even a negative response, such as grabbing or pushing them away, still provides the attention they crave and can inadvertently reinforce the behavior. Rather than deterring them, this can actually encourage more jumping in the future. Additionally, for many dogs, physical responses like grabbing or pushing can be misinterpreted as invitations to play rough, escalating their jumping behavior further. By reacting with physicality, you might unintentionally signal to your dog that jumping is an acceptable way to engage with you. They may interpret your actions as playful gestures and respond with increased enthusiasm. Jumping even more vigorously, this misunderstanding can perpetuate a cycle where your dog continues to jump on you, expecting a playful response each time. Moreover, physical responses like grabbing or pushing can potentially harm the bond between you and your dog. Your dog may become confused or anxious, unsure of how to interact with you without being reprimanded. This can lead to a breakdown in communication and trust, 
hindering your ability to effectively train and build a positive relationship with your pet. Instead of resorting to physical methods, it's essential to employ positive reinforcement techniques to address jumping behavior. By rewarding your dog for desired behaviors, such as sitting calmly or greeting you politely, you can effectively teach them the appropriate way to engage with you. Consistency, patience, and clear communication are key to successfully modifying your dog's behavior and fostering a harmonious relationship based on mutual respect and understanding. 7. Don't put your knee up when your dog jumps. Putting your knee up when your dog jumps may seem like a quick fix to discourage the behavior, but the reality is more nuanced than that. While some trainers advocate for this technique, it can backfire, especially with certain types of dogs. Dogs with a more boisterous or playful disposition might interpret the knee as an invitation to play or engage in roughhousing, reinforcing the jumping behavior rather than eliminating it. Moreover, for most dogs, using your knee in this manner can lead to a breakdown of trust between you and your furry companion. Imagine your dog excitedly jumping up to greet you, only to be met with a sudden block from your knee. From their perspective, they were just trying to express their joy and affection, but instead, they encounter what feels like a punishment. This can sow seeds of confusion and apprehension in your dog's mind, causing them to become wary of your interactions. Furthermore, there's a risk of physical harm involved in using this technique. Dogs, especially smaller or more fragile breeds, can inadvertently injure themselves if they collide with your knee at an awkward angle or with excessive force. The last thing you want is for your attempts to correct their behavior to result in physical harm. Beyond the immediate consequences, such mistrust and discomfort can manifest in other behavioral issues. If your dog starts associating you with negative experiences or unpredictable reactions, they may become hesitant to obey your commands or respond to your cues, leading to challenges with recall and obedience training. Instead of resorting to kneeing as a solution, it's more effective to address the underlying reasons for your dog's jumping behavior through positive reinforcement and consistent training techniques. By rewarding desired behaviors and redirecting their energy into more appropriate outlets, you can foster a stronger bond built on trust, communication, and mutual respect between you and your canine companion. 8. Keep greetings low-key while your dog is learning. Maintaining a calm demeanor during greetings is crucial, especially during the initial stages of your dog's learning process. Understandably, your furry friend is thrilled to see you, and controlling their exuberance can be quite the challenge. It requires a significant amount of emotional self-regulation for them to resist the instinctive urge to jump and instead adhere to the newly established greeting protocol. To facilitate this learning process, it's essential to keep greetings low-key. Dogs are remarkably adept at picking up on our emotions. If we're exuding excitement or energy, they'll mirror that sentiment. Therefore, it's crucial to maintain a sense of calmness and quietness during interactions, even when offering praise. By setting this tone, you're providing your dog with a conducive environment for learning and reinforcing desirable behavior. As your dog gradually grasps the concept and begins to exhibit more controlled greetings, you can gradually increase your level of enthusiasm. This incremental approach allows you to match your dog's excitement eventually, but only once they've mastered the art of composed greetings. Remember, consistency and patience are key throughout this process, ultimately leading to a harmonious and well-mannered interaction between you and your beloved canine companion. 9. Prevent your dog from jumping on guests. Preventing your dog from jumping on guests requires consistent effort and cooperation from everyone in your household. It's not just about your actions, other family members, guests, and even passers-by can unintentionally reinforce the behavior if they respond to your dog's jumping with attention or affection. To effectively tackle this issue, it's essential to implement management techniques that limit your dog's opportunities to jump. One effective strategy is to keep your dog on a leash when guests are around. This way, you have better control over their movements and can prevent them from approaching guests or jumping on them. Alternatively, you can designate a specific spot for your dog, such as a mat or bed, where they can calmly wait while guests enter the house. If your dog is crate trained, placing them in their crate before guests arrive can also be an effective way to keep them away from the door and discourage jumping behavior. In addition to these measures, using a baby gate to block off the front hall or entryway can create a physical barrier that prevents your dog from rushing towards guests. This gives you the opportunity to greet visitors without your dog getting overly excited or engaging in unwanted jumping behavior. Consistency is key when implementing these techniques. Make sure that everyone in your household is on board with the plan and understands the importance of not inadvertently rewarding your dog for jumping. With patience and persistence, you can help your dog learn more appropriate ways to greet guests without resorting to jumping. 10. Ask guests and strangers to follow your greeting rule. 
it's essential to communicate effectively with both guests and strangers when it comes to your dog's greetings. Don't hesitate to assertively convey your expectations before they engage with your furry friend. Especially during the learning phase, kindly request that individuals completely ignore your dog until you give the green light for interaction. Moreover, it's wise to prioritize greetings with familiar faces over encounters with unfamiliar ones until your dog has mastered the art of polite interactions. Friends and family who understand and respect your training goals can serve as valuable allies in this process. When faced with strangers, Employ tactics like a watch me cue to redirect your dog's attention or engage them with a hand touch or toy until the passerby has moved along. By setting clear boundaries and enlisting the cooperation of those around you, you can create a conducive environment for your dog to learn and thrive in social interactions. This proactive approach not only ensures the safety and comfort of both your pet and others but also fosters positive experiences that contribute to their overall well-being and development. In conclusion, Transforming your dog's enthusiastic jumping greetings into polished displays of canine etiquette is not only achievable but also essential for a harmonious relationship between you and your furry companion. By implementing the greeting rule of keeping all four paws on the floor and consistently reinforcing desired behaviors, you can effectively redirect your dog's exuberance into more appropriate forms of greeting, through patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement. You can teach your dog the importance of polite greetings while strengthening your bond and fostering mutual respect and understanding. Remember, each interaction is an opportunity for growth, and with dedication and perseverance, you can pave the way for a happier, more well-mannered canine companion. So, let's embark on this journey together and create a positive and fulfilling relationship with our furry friends.